Hi and welcome to the beginners course on Google Earth Engine. In this tutorial, I will try to show you how you can work with Enhanced Vegetation Index. Mainly in this tutorial, I will try to show you how you can use the MODIS data for indexing the Enhanced Vegetation Index. So let's start. And next other tutorial, I will try to show you how you can use Landsat images for calculating the enhanced vegetation index. So let's start. So first of all, you need to import your MODIS image collection. So I put here some comment for your understand. So I put the comment. First of all, you need to import the MODIS image collection. So for this you can simply search in the top top of the code editor in search bar MODIS and you can see here the different types of MODIS data. Especially here I use the MODIS Terra Vegetation Indices 60 day global 500 meter resolution. Simply I click to here. You can see the different types of description about this data set. You can also see the bands. There are mainly two bands NDVI and EVI. Mainly in this tutorial I will work with EVI. So also you can see the data set availability data set provider and collection snippet. So you can simply use to click to import. You can import your this data in your script or also you can do simply copy this snippet click to here and then close it then you use to a variable here I use the variable and this variable name is image then I simply paste here our collection okay and then simply I select my require band so in this tutorial I will show you the enhanced vegetation index so for this i select this band enhanced vegetation index its name evi so i simply use this name in here evi so i import this modis image collection in my script and select my required bands using this code okay so Next, you can choose a reference period for your data set. So for this, I can also take a comment here. Choose a time frame or time boundary. So here I take a variable. This variable name is time then I use filter this time frame using the filter date function I use the variable name here again image and use the filter date function this is the filter date function and here I first I select my first date it will be 2001 zero five two zero one and the in date is two thousand eleven twelve thirty one and I also shorting this it short here I use the system time start system time start and then I need to the compute the mean EVI for this time frame so I also take a comment here for your understanding so in this code I will try to show you how you can compute it compute it 
the mean EVI for the time frame. So here I use a variable take a variable var mean and then I use the time variable here again and use the mean function. So I use this code for computed the mean EVI for the specific time frame. Okay. So next you define the visualization parameter for EVI. So now define the visualization parameter parameters for EVI. So for this you can take a variable var and this variable name is VIS and then I select I take a dictionary here I import some object this first object is mean this is the mean pixel of your 2000 and max pixel is 500 actually there is the pixel range how many rays you want to need you can simply uh, rewrite this pixel size or pixel Friends, you can easily do it and then I select it the select the color plated color plated here you can hear the some colors name using a list for this I use the square bracket and here I use the brown then use the yellow and then use the green color okay that's it and and simply i use the semicolon and then i add this map in my map view for this i use the map add layer function so i use the map dot add layer function then use the object name here object name is mean and use the visualization parameter here is the visualization parameter variable name is vis and i also take a layer name here this layer name is evi it is the mean evi so i use this name here mean evi then I simply click run you can see it will be appear in your map view the enhanced visitation index and you can simply use your shape file or a specific boundary shape file and cliff using the cliff function for use your specific boundary only show you can see actually now we can see the overall whole modis evi image collection for the specific time range and you can also see the pixel range between 2000 to 5000 and and now you want to show your result only for a shape file or or a specific boundary shape file so you can just simply click uh, import your shape file so now i want to show this uh, result in for only bangladesh shape file so i simply imported my sh uh, my shape file from asset tab i simply click to here it will be imported in my script so just i simply rename this shape file and i took roi here and just i simply use here clip function dot clip and use this 
boundary shape file variable name ry so i use here ry and then simply click run and now it's time it will be work only for your specific boundary shape file here it will be work only for region of bangladesh now you can see the whole bangladesh enhanced vegetation index between 2001-0501 to 2011-1231 in this date frame okay so now you want to easily export it this raster shape file using the code here you can use the map export dot image to to drive to drive and use all of this requirement of this function here the image description folder and others needed information when you will put on this function and click to run you can see in your task tab will be opened and simply click here you can easily save this raster file in your google drive for using this code and use the required information of this function and it will be easily saved in your google drive i hope you will understand how you can use the evi in as vegetation index and how you can save this raster file in your google drive and next time i will try to show you how you can use or how you can easily train analysis this data set okay so thank you for watching this video